fight against Dave Mad Max 6 and uh, we're at Gold Stream Venice and it's a uh, new B-Build by Browser and today it's something a little different. Eric, what are, we doing? what are we doing today? Well, what we're doing today is we've got about uh, a little under two weeks until your show, your next show. And we're doing a little chess and tries. Uh, this week is going to be uh, reverse rep range style, which basically is where we're going to start off with higher reps and we're going to move into lower reps as the workout goes. We're starting off on the fly machine here first for chest. The rep range is 13 to 15. The tempo is about two seconds uh, on the negative, one second on the stretch, one to two seconds on the positive, and one second on the squeeze. So it's a real slow movement, a lot of control, get a lot of blood in there before we move into the heavier movements. And uh, I'm going to do my set right now. Okay, we'll switch the camera so you, you get to shoot me, yeah, yeah. shoot you, and we'll Absolutely. see how that goes. It'll be a little different today. Yeah, a full workout, you guys. So yeah, full speed. Center, holding for a second, about two seconds on the way back. Stretch for a second, squeeze back to the center, hold for a second. Squeeze this one. Maximum stretch, maximum contraction. Okay, so the second exercise that we're doing for chest today is uh, the guillotine press or bench press to the neck. We're going to use it on the Smith machine so we have a lot of control. We're looking to build the upper chest right here under the clavicle uh, and this puts a lot of pressure on that because it keeps the elbows high and back. Um, we're going to be using a rep tempo of about three seconds on the way down, one second stretch at the bottom, and then one second press to the top. You can use a lot of control in this movement. You don't want to go crazy heavy in this movement ever because it puts the shoulders in a bad position. And I'm going to do my set now and go for a major upper chest pump. As you can see when I do this, I set my, my body the way we always talk about. I'll bring my shoulders down, bring my chest up, and arch my lower back. This has my torso in the correct position for pressing.
Alright, uh, Dave's about to hit his set now. Working on the upper chest, like I said. Building that shelf on the top of the chest. Of course, you cannot completely isolate the pecs with any pressing or fly movement, but you can hit uh, preferred fibers in the upper or lower chest, depending on your angle where you bring the bar down to. Stretch at the bottom. A lot of control in this movement. Very unique movement for the upper chest. It's helping you build a shelf in my upper chest just as much as inclines has. You can really feel a deep stretch. Just make sure that your shoulders are well warmed up before you hit this one. Little stretch, squeeze to the top. You see his elbows are way back. That's how he hits the upper chest. Keeps the triceps out of it. All right, so we're continuing our uh, reverse rep range workout here for chest. We started off with a seated fly machine, then we went to a uh, Smith guillotine press, and now we're using this incline press machine right here. This is uh, at Gold Gym in Venice. I love this machine. You also may notice I'm using a little bit more machines today than I may normally use, but Dave's only about a week and a half with, uh, out from the show, so we're, we're looking to have a little bit more control and stretch and squeeze, not really worry too much about balancing the free weights. We don't, we don't want any injuries or anything like that. We're just looking to isolate the muscle. Anyway, on this one, we're going to be using a tempo of about three seconds on the way down, one second stretch at the bottom, one second on the way up, and a one second squeeze at the top. This machine allows you to get a good squeeze at the top. This is an absolutely killer machine if you ever come to Gold's Gym in Venice to hit the upper chest. Third room right by the bathroom. Correct. <laughs> Third and final set here. We play press machine. We push the first one right to the top. And here we start. Three seconds on the way down. One second stretch. Squeeze to the top and hold. The rep range here is going to be around seven to nine. We started at about 13 to 15 on the first exercise. Then we moved to 10 to 12. And now about seven to nine. Now, of course, sometimes you don't hit the rep range, you end up under by a rep or over by a rep. Don't worry about that, just train to failure. See, he's pushing his chest up so high, it's hitting his chin. Maximum effort. Right to total failure. Alright, so uh, we're into our final chest exercise, and just to keep us real, we're doing a little flat dumbbell pressing, no machines this time. Uh, at this point in the workout, we're just looking for four to six reps, about two seconds on the way down, one second hold, and then explosive to the top, and uh, 100 pound dumbbells feel like they weigh 200 pounds at this point after we've crushed our chest, so don't expect any Olympic lifting here. How long is it since you did this? I actually have, I, as I mentioned in one of the last videos, I haven't done a real chest workout probably in about a year and a half. Wow. Just doing about, you know, three or four sets, just pumping it up. This is my first real chest workout in a really, really long time, so I'm having fun. Uh, but I haven't done flat dumbbell press. I haven't done like a free weight chest movement probably in a few years. Wow. Um, because my chest became so overpowering and I, you know, I'm, I'm about symmetry and proportion, so I'm like, let me bring my shoulders and my back up to match my chest so I'm a better overall bodybuilder. But today I'm with you, so I'm doing chest and... Uh, 
hopefully my chest won't like grow like out here. <laughs> but anyway, let's see if we can handle 100 pound dumbbells for a couple. Goes up and said these things are so oh, damn yeah, heavy. So heavy. At this point in the workout, after what we've done, there's just nothing left in the chest. But we don't really care because he's uh, going on stage not to be a weightlifter to win the show. Come on, goals just four reps. Up, come on, Dave. Up. Yeah, come on, one more. That's it. Good job. Oh, fuck. Okay, so now we're, uh, we finished our chest, so we're into our tricep training. Uh, today's kind of like a mini tricep workout. Later in the week is a full tricep workout. And what we're doing here in this exercise is actually a one arm overhead extension, but on a cable. Now, if you guys have been watching my videos, you know that I like to play around with movements a lot and get away from the basics sometimes. And, uh, just try to make move, basic movements more effective and when you do this exercise with a cable as opposed to a dumbbell You're able to get a squeeze at the top that you can't get with a dumbbell because there's still force coming down from the cable So it's a very unique movement and it gives you a very unique feel it works the long head of the tricep The part of the tricep that builds that has the most bulk to it uh, So this is actually a good bulking exercise. I'm going to demonstrate it now We're not going to be using heavy weights We're going about 13 to 15 uh, About two seconds on the way down you want to hold the stretch for one second one second on the way up and a squeeze at the top. You want to take advantage of that squeeze because we're on a cable. This movement can also be done uh, at a cable crossover station with a lower cable. If you put a bench in front of it, you don't have this machine, which is normally used for a two arm overhead extension, but I changed it to one arm by just, as you can see, taking the handle off and he's just gripping the top of the cable. Full stretch at the bottom. Position of the elbow up by the ear, you are working the long head of the tricep more so than the other heads, even though you're not completely isolating, you're targeting. Going from 13 to 15, there's only 20 pounds on there, you don't need a lot of weight, don't get stuck on the weight. Ugh. Do the form correctly and you make the most of the promise. Come on, week and a half. 
Okay, so we're moving into our second tricep exercise, and uh, again, I'm playing with movements, playing with angles, um, just changing up the angles of push or pull. Uh, in this movement, you'll see it's kind of in between, um, almost like a ex cable extension and uh, and like a, a push down, somewhere like a hybrid in the middle. The whole point is is that um, when I train myself, when I train clients, especially if I've been training for a long time, you want to hit the muscles from all different angles, even if it's, even if it's just subtle changes, because every time you change the angle, you hit a little uh, uh, different uh, population of motor units in the muscle, so you can get more complete development this way. So, you know, when you're looking to reach your genetic potential, you want to hit the muscle in every possible way you can think of. So that's why I play with movements and I change them, I see how effective they are. Uh, again, we're using a lot more cables and machines today just in general because uh, Dave is so close to his show, so we just really want to stretch and squeeze and really focus on the muscles. So let me show you this unique movement. Uh, give this a try and your tricep workout, you really feel it. Now you want to lean a little bit away from the cable. You don't want to stand straight up. You want to lean in a little bit so it gives you a better stretch. Stretch at the top, squeeze at the bottom, you can see all three heads separate in the tricep. You can play with the angle of this movement a little bit in terms of if you bring it down more like a push down or more like an extension. Uh, exactly where you keep your elbow, exactly where you bring it up, see where you feel it the most, or even change it during the set if you want. There's little subtle changes, see so he just made a change there, he brought his elbow up, and that'll hit the tricep slightly different. Different set of muscle fibers, and for complete development, you want to exhaust the whole muscle. Yeah. Come on, last few reps. Side triceps, Jack. Right? Yeah. One more. Come on, here we go. And squeeze. Right to failure. That's it. Oh, Good. So we're on our last exercise of. Uh, triceps today again we're going to stick with one arm at a time I did demonstrate this movement in a earlier video this is a one arm lying tricep extension I actually prefer this movement to the two uh, armed version I get a better stretch and isolate the muscle a little bit better uh, we did the uh, first two exercises were a cable movement so I want to keep us uh, keep us straight a little bit here and use a dumbbell movement uh, the rep range is about 7 to 9 on this we did 13 to 15 10 to 12 now 7 to 9 tempo will be about a two second negative one second on the stretch, and then about one second to the top. Strict movement, full range of motion. <laughs> As you can see, he's putting the dumbbell down on the side of the head. He's getting a full stretch. Two seconds down, hold the stretch, and then squeeze it to the top. And he's using all muscle power to squeeze to the top. He's not just throwing it to the top. He's using the triceps to squeeze it to the top, and that's the key. 
This keeps your joints from getting injured. It puts full intensity on the muscle. One more. One more, he's gonna reach failure. Boom. Nice. Oh, God. 